Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Crash. Let's start Sunset Vista, which is definitely the longest level in the game. Um, uh, it's pretty darn long. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are ready for a pretty long level. This is uh, still post commentary, but uh, I think this I think this level here takes up um, probably like most at least half of the video. We do get more levels done, but most of it is this level. And I died in the first like minute, of course. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about dying or not to get the box gym so uh but this i also think is our first level uh uh where we can get uh a key from a cortex bonus level so uh i'll have to do that and i spun a life away on accident but we got an achievement for doing that so yeah totally totally meant to do that why are these Stupid lizards. And I don't think I, re I said this uh, in the previous level. But uh, yeah, if you want to get rid of the bats, just get rid of like the two points. Uh, you got one. They have like two points that they run between. And if you get rid of those, uh, it'll get rid of the bats. So uh, yeah, if they're giving you problems. Just kill those two bats and you should be good. But, uh, yeah, this, I imagine, this level would be a lot more difficult uh, if you were playing the PS1 version, since uh, if you were going after the box gym, you, uh, uh I would have to restart. <laughs> I got, it was, that was close. I'm very glad that that did not kill me. But, uh, yeah, this pr level probably would have made me pretty mad. If I was playing the PS1 version, since I would have had to restart it, probably a lot. So, I'm very... This is one of those levels where it makes me glad that I'm playing this version. Over the PS1 version. Do you want to... Yeah, do that, so then if I die again, I can get it back. But, uh, get a... Aku Aku, if we go up there. But yeah, like I said, this is a uh, definitely the longest level in the game. So I don't. Nothing would be more demoralizing than uh, dying right at the end of this level and trying to get the box gym in the PS1 version. But overall, I wouldn't say this level is too hard. It's just long, you know. I think they give you plenty of checkpoints. So if you're just playing through it normally, or playing this version, it'll be, uh, it'll be fine. You'll be fine. Some of the, yeah, some of the timing on those can feel a little tight. I, I am surprised I did not get murdered by the fire. That was close. That's what I expected to happen the first time. It's been a bit since I recorded this video, so... <laughs> it's kind of fun to see me go through this. I don't think this one takes me a whole, like, very long. I don't think there was anything I had to cut out. I'm very surprised again that did not kill me. Not complaining, I'm just surprised. Definitely want to make sure that you go into these areas and spin. Because there are... You can kind of see the boxes, but you definitely want to make sure that you get everything, because it would suck to miss something. Also, yeah, make sure you jump on those in those kind of areas because sometimes, again, there's boxes above stuff, so. That was close. Holy crap. And, uh, cool. We got some boxes, gets a couple lives back. The Aku Aku. 
I guess I'll kind of help. There's a lot of pitfalls. That's usually what kills me is falling. Not taking damage. It's close. Yeah, better wait. And there we go. And to go away. Easy peasy. I haven't come across any of uh, the Cortex tokens yet, but there are they are here. I know I know we can get our first key here. And yeah, you have to get the key if you want to get 100% because it unlocks other levels and stuff. So uh, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you get the keys. But yeah, we have to try and get this guy over here. Then we can jump on the box. There we go. We got another Aku kind of hiding there. And there we go, our first Cortex token. Two more to go. I am stuck now. <laughs> that is uh, kind of the issue with this perspective. I think I just had to back up. I think I was just caught somewhere. can't remember. I think there might be a spot where you can miss a Cortex token if you're not careful. But the nice thing is at least that, at least in this version, you can die and try it again and it not be a big deal. But if you're playing the PS1 version, yeah, here it is. So yeah, this is a place where you definitely want to make sure that you're uh, on the timing. I screwed that up, so yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you're timing that one right. Well, at least we can get a free Aku because of uh, it's there for free. Oh, cool! I'm gonna do it again. No biggie. No biggie. Still have the yeah. Go back. There we go. Kill the bat. Yeah, might as well wait a second. I do like to do that just to get a couple extra fruit. Easy. Okay, yeah, that was just that was me just being impatient and silly. I don't really know why I did that. <laughs> that was just stupid. second. At least this one doesn't take too long to do its cycle. Okay. Cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it before they showed up again. Glad I did. Alrighty. Yeah. That's how I thought that one was. That Just all four of them came out. Sweet. Got it. That was kind of a Hail Mary. I'm very glad that that worked as well as it did. And we got ourselves a nice checkpoint, so now we don't have to worry about doing that again. Again, I am so glad I don't have to worry about dying in these levels. Because this level definitely would have made me angry. And we're already back to 99 lives, so. Yeah. Minor inconvenience dying go and there's the final cortex token there we go and cortex tokens I mean cortex bonus rounds are very very similar to embryo token uh, bonus rounds very TNT based and stuff like that so, uh, but overall, I think this one was pretty easy. Yeah, I thought the, maybe the, uh, the explosions would have blown it up. But yeah, uh, easy peasy. First try, we got ourselves a handy dandy key. 
And uh, there we go. Not too bad. Yeah, might as well wait. I mean, I could take the hit, but why take a hit if I don't have to? And there we go. Got Hatano. The regular bonus. Which I think will give it get us... A lot of both. I don't know if all. Yeah, definitely helping with the boxes. Can't quite remember. I think I'm thinking of another bonus uh, that has a lot more boxes in it. And yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't know why I thought those weren't gonna explode. But whatever. <laughs> it was uh, pretty silly of me. But yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this one. I wonder what the relic is for this level. It's probably pretty long. It's taking longer just because I'm, you know, going after all the boxes and everything. I'm taking my time. Yeah, nine more boxes. I cannot jump. Cannot do those jumps. There we go. There's a checkpoint. Checkpoint boxes do count for the box total if you didn't know. And uh, there's the last eight, bo eight boxes. So there we go. We made it. No Akus, but we got all 90 boxes. Got ourselves our first key and another gym. So we are looking good. Got ourselves some nice percentage there. And a trophy. I mean, an achievement or whatever. A trophy, I guess, if you're playing on like the uh, PS3. But uh, now we have our next boss, Koala Kong, who's also pretty darn easy. But I think this marks the end of the second uh, island. So we are approaching the end of the game. Uh, the third island's going to take a while just because the third island is the hardest island. And I died because I jumped too far forward. Forgot you could do that. But yeah, that's probably why it seems like I'm hugging the back. But uh, yeah, overall, this is a pretty easy boss. Just kind of go to the opposite side where the TNT is and just kind of bait out his attacks. And then once that happens, there's a big boulder, spin it back at him when there isn't a cart in front of him and uh, you can hit him. Do that four times and you uh, beat him. One of the easier bosses in the game. Probably the e probably second easiest. I would say, you know, Papu Papu's the easiest. This one might feel a little more stressful just because of the, the TNT boxes. But, uh, yeah, for, it's really not that bad. Uh, you just make sure that you're actually close to it because sometimes I am clearly just too far back but yeah it, it just feels a little stressful because the TNT boxes are like right there that was uh, very uh, ballsy on my part and there we go easy peasy Second try. The first try I died because I jumped <laughs> on the lava. But that was my fault. There we go. Second island done. Uh, now we are uh, yeah, in the final island. And like I said, the final island definitely is the hardest uh, of the game. But it definitely saves the hardest levels for last. But uh, yeah, let's save real quick. And uh, let's start... What is this, heavy machinery? Yeah, heavy machinery is not too long. I don't, I know for sure, I know I, this is a level that I do not 100% on my first try because I miss an embryo token. Um, I don't remember, I don't think I show it off when I do get it, so I will point it out uh, here. It's pretty easy. Um, I don't know exactly how I missed it, 
but I did. So, oops. But uh, yeah, this level's not really that bad. It's uh, pretty short and not, not too hard. But what you want to do is jump below there. Below there is in between those two spots, those dudes right there is the embryo token. And that's what I missed. So uh, I do go back and get it off screen at some point. But I, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I don't show it for some reason. I don't think I recorded it. But uh, yeah, if you're uh, playing through and wonder where the heck a third, you know, where one of the embryo tokens is, it's right there in between that, uh, that spot right there. It's also our first level like this, so that was close. I'm very happy I did not get hurt there. Eh, yeah, I don't really need the life. I think I still have... I either have 98 or 99, you know, I have a lot, so missing out on that one life doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure you can't jump on this, the guys with the blades on them. Pretty sure they hurt you uh, no matter what. So, avoid them. If I do show the embryo token, then awesome. Then I forgot that I did, but I feel like I didn't record it. But like I said, I really don't remember it too well. It's been a bit since I've recorded this, so. I'm a little behind. Kind of forgot everything I did. This is the bonus round I was thinking of earlier. Um, this one's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just uh, jump on some boxes. Here you want to do a high jump at the end there. You can count to five. That makes this. That makes that this. <laughs> counting to five makes this a lot easier. Because that's how uh, many jumps you can do on the jumping crates. Bouncing crate. Bouncing crates. There's uh, five before they blow up. Or break. Or blow up, but you know what I mean. Whee! Okay, yeah. Thought team came through there. That's the checkpoint. I think we're getting kind of close to the end. Oh, hey, I get invincibility here. Probably doesn't matter, but I get it. I like how you're jumping like <laughs> the game's trying to make you bounce uh, after you get it. Yeah, it doesn't really help me out much. Like, I almost died there. Still die if you fall with invincibility. So yeah, that was a kind of a lame invincibility. And that's where I realized I missed an embryo token somewhere. Oops. And yes, it's the one at the beginning of the level. No biggie, just uh, kind of silly. This is my first time 100%ing this game, so I guess it was bound to happen at some point that I forget something. Or not get something, you know? So, whatever. It happens. And there we go. Back to 99 lives. There's quite a few boxes. So, I'm pretty sure we get an achievement for getting beat to death with boxes, but uh, I'm uh, that is uh, going to be it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> next time we will... What is the next level we are going to be doing? Is it another color gym level? I think it is. No, or no cortex power. But uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty good place to end the episode. I gotta go back and do heavy machinery anyway. So uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I will see you.